The woman accused of killing five-year-old Samuel Olson faced a judge today. Teresa Balboa was charged with capital murder last week. KPRC2's Kathy Hernandez was in the courtroom for today's hearing and has the very latest details. Good afternoon. After the hearing, the prosecutor told us she is confident she'll be able to get justice for little Samuel. Teresa Balboa stood before a judge in an orange jumpsuit as a prosecutor laid out the capital murder charge against her. She allegedly hit five-year-old Samuel Olson with a blunt object, killing him on or about May 12th. They say Balboa called her roommate Benjamin Rivera, saying she had killed Samuel. They left the boy's body in their Webster apartment for two days. According to the prosecutor, during that time, Balboa and Rivera were caught on Walmart surveillance video buying duct tape and a plastic container. Court documents say they kept Samuel's body in a storage unit before Balboa took it to a Jasper hotel. That's where authorities found the body and Balboa. She was initially charged with tampering with evidence, but those charges were upgraded last week. So I was reviewing the evidence in terms of um, the laboratory evidence and the cell phones that we've received and making sure that we could in fact corroborate the statements of Benjamin Rivera in regards to who was responsible for the death of Samuel Olson. And after reviewing that, I'm confident that I can meet my burden in this case and get justice for little Samuel. Balboa's roommate Benjamin Rivera and Dylan Walker have both been charged with tampering with evidence. Court documents say Walker drove Balboa to Jasper and rented the motel room where Samuel's body was found. Balboa doesn't have an attorney for the capital murder case, so her bond has not yet been set. Next, prosecutors say they will present the case to a grand jury, and then the district attorney will decide if they'll pursue the death penalty. Reporting in downtown Houston, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.